What's up, fellow drivers? David here, bringing you more quarantine content. And today we're going to do something a little bit different than normal. So normally, you know, if you've been to my channel before, you know I do a lot of things like uh, car reviews, vlogs, DIY projects, that kind of thing. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and give my video a like if you can, a subscription. It really helps, especially nowadays. Um, but yeah, today we're going to do something called Rate My Ride. And I asked you guys to send me pictures on Instagram, uh, you know, send me pictures of your car with a mods list, and I would go ahead and feature them here and rate them. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Got my phone out here, obviously, um, if I'm going to be looking at my DMs on Instagram. And I just want to preface that I'm not a mechanical engineer or an industrial designer, professional driver, or anything like that. So, you know, take my opinion with a grain of salt. Uh, I'm just a guy that likes cars. So uh, I thought this would just be kind of a fun way for me to get to see some of my subscribers' cars and uh, to kind of share them with the rest of you guys. And I have not opened any of your DMs yet. So, you know, I wanted to do a totally live reaction. Uh, I don't really have a rating system, honestly. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do like a one to 10 scale and we'll do fire emojis. I'm just going to do this in like a first come first serve order. So, you know, if you sent it in first, we're going to review it first. So um, let's go ahead and check out the first one on here. Okay, Danis MR2. Okay, let's see. So we got a, a red MR2 here, red SW20. Looks pretty clean. I like it. Um, it looks like possibly the NK wheels that I have for my track wheels. Um, or something very similar. I can't zoom in on the picture, unfortunately. You can't like pinch on uh, on Instagram messages like that. But uh, let's see. Uh, so this is my car, 91 factory turbo, very nice. Mods are pretty basic, intercooler, intake, downpipe, full three inch exhaust, uh, external wastegate, bliss boost controller, uh, rusty sills, uh, nice, nice mod there. Uh, fully rebuilt engine, stage one clutch, and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Okay, um, so here's his engine bay. Um, looks like he got some leaves there. Um, nice, nice mod there that you didn't mention. Um, I see that that rust on there. Uh, but yeah, factory turbo. Okay, cool. Looks like here's another picture of it uh, when it was totally stock, no wheels or anything. Um, I see, yeah, before pick. And uh, cool, it says it sat under a tree in Florida for four years before I got it. I guess that's how you got that leaf mod. Um, all right, cool. So, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty simple, uh, basic kind of thing, uh, but the body looks straight. Um, you know, at least in the pictures, the paint looks pretty good. And you've got some, some solid basic mods, you know, like your, your downpipe and your intake, uh, you know, all that, all that uh, intake and exhaust type of stuff. So, um, you know, I'm obviously pretty partial to MR2s, and turbos are pretty rare, so I'm gonna give this a uh, seven fire emojis. Oh, looks like I actually had an earlier one that I didn't notice, so uh, MR2 VC. And by the way, if I butcher any of your names, I apologize, uh, I'm terrible at names, so um, let's see. Sent a lot of pictures, got another MR2. I have a feeling this video is probably gonna have a lot of MR2s because I know a lot of my followers our MR2 owners, so, you know, hey, that's cool. Uh, we got a white MR2, nice, white SW20. Uh, looks like we got some TE37s, uh, white TE37s, you know, it's hard to go wrong with that. Those were some wheels I was actually looking for way back in the day. I uh, got an interior shot here, looks like a pretty clean interior, uh, like a carbon fiber uh, center uh, console there. Um, looks like we have a, um, like a kit going around and a carbon fiber uh, hood with the air relief vents or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> I can't English. And uh, here's a picture from the back. Looks like we have an exhaust. Maybe that's the Burke exhaust. Doesn't actually give a mod list. Um, the hood is a little bit loud, uh, a little bit for, for my taste, but hey, you know, it looks like it can be functional, especially if you uh, actually, you know, cut out the vent for like a, a V-mount intercooler or something like that. So there's definitely some potential there. And I really like the engine bay lid. So that engine bay lid uh, is super dope. 
Uh, you don't see that too often. So yeah, pretty cool. I am also going to give this seven fire emojis. Not, not quite as simple and clean as the other one, but uh, definitely some, some cool stuff. I would say personally, I'm not a fan of like that uh, interior mods that you have there, but you know, it's your car. This is just my opinion and it looks pretty good. So, all right, uh, what do we have next? Dutch MR2. Is this guy actually from uh, Germany or Holland or something? What do they call Holland, the Dutch, or the Netherlands? It's all the same thing, right? Anyway, I digress. So, what do we have here? Um, let's see. Send me a pic how my car is currently looking. It's not completely finished, but it will never be. Of course, projects never are. Took one, five, minus two years. For, I'm not really sure what that means, but he's been working on the MR2 for years. There's lots of rust repair and body work mainly. Definitely a common issue with older cars. Technically, the car was in good shape. As far as the engine and the components, I did a thorough service. Let's see. Uh, it says it was like a barn find. It's way behind on my Instagram. Okay. Restoration process. Awesome. Well, that's super cool. You know, the idea of a barn find is that you find a car that maybe the basic body is solid, but it's going to be a project, right? And maybe it's kind of a rare car and then you like restore it. And definitely looks like if this was seriously a barn find, you've done some great work here. Looks super shiny. I love this color of paint. There's some great shots, by the way. Got kind of a maybe amateur photographer going on here. Um, got the sunset in the background. I like it. Okay. So no real specific mod lists, but I like the wheels. Got a simple five spoke design there. I'm always a big fan of that. You know, it's like the Rega Masters, of course. And looks like you have the, the sleepy headlights. That's pretty cool. And looks like you have a couple different type of wheels for it. You've also got the clear corners. So that's cool. And all right, I, I, you know, I like this. This is, this is really clean. I wish I knew some more about the specific mods that you had done or you know, just some more details on it as is like, I want to give it more, but I think again, I'm going to get seven fire emojis. Okay. It's, it's really clean looking, but I just don't really know enough about the car to give it more. Am I going to give every car seven? Maybe I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Grim MR2. Okay. Uh, so Grim MR2, we've got a, a red SW20 this time. Uh, right away, I can see that it's lowered. Looks like we're on some NK RPF1s. Again, we got kind of a basic kit with a lip. And what do we have here? It says uh, 92. Uh, MR2 NA got the 5SFE with a manual. That's how my MR2 started, so definitely not going to hate on that. Uh, so he's got 7x9 and 7x8 on the NKs, uh, wrapped in Federal RSRRs. That's a good performance tire, 245, 215. That's definitely kind of your standard mod, uh, modified MR2 tire size. Uh, it's hard to go wrong with that. It's a, it's a good setup. It's got some Tane basic coilovers, Magnaflow exhaust, things suspension bushings bushings are underrated so props to you man for doing bushings bushings were one of the earliest mods that i did on my mr2 and i can't recommend them enough not only are most mr2s that you run across probably gonna have worn out stock bushings but getting the poly bushings are just going to take it to that next level and make everything more solid feeling and just more connected uh, you know it's not it's not super sexy it's not something you can brag about but you'll notice as a driver. And you know, if you're not doing things for yourself as a driver, then what are you even doing with the car? So what else do we have here? Uh, EBC yellow pads front, slotted drilled rotors, Koki taillights, Duraflex, GT fenders. Okay. Um, so Duraflex, you know, it's kind of the, um, uh, am I going to say the R word, kind of like the, the replica of the rep, you know, or the, or the sort of the, the cheap stuff. Um, which, you know, there's something to it. So, you know, if you get something that's Duraflex, it is actually pretty durable. And, you know, if it gets trash, oh, well, that's fine. Just put on another one. It's no big deal. You know, I'm like kind of a po for super rare stuff and, and I only want to get the legit, like original things, but sometimes it just can't be practical. So, you know, definitely went for a more practical route. 
uh, this way. Um, so, you know, kind of your, your basic wheels, suspension. Uh, looks like you did some minor brake upgrades. That's cool. Brakes can be underrated. So props to you for doing brakes and not ignoring those. Too many people do. Uh, I like it. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to say seven and a half fire emojis. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I feel like I've got to come up with a better rating system for this. All right. But thank you for submitting. Let's go ahead and do at least one more. I don't want to make this video too long. We have a lot more submissions here. Let, let's do one where I have to approve uh, the request. Um, let's see, what do we have? Okay, all right. So we've got a, a white MR2 taken downtown, wherever downtown is, and it looks super stock. I like this. Uh, this kind of reminds me of when I first had my MR2. He's got the clear corners on there. Also, we even changed the clear reflector. Um, I'm not a big fan of that front license plate, but I understand that some people don't want to take that off. It just, you know, can attract too much attention. Even got the stock wheels on there. It looks like super clean. Again, not a whole lot of details. This is one of my favorite uh, pictures. And uh, yeah, it says I can use it if I want. Um, okay, it looks great. Um, I can't really rate this. I mean, it's a clean looking MR2, but I don't really know anything about it. Um, so let's do one more, one more. Let's, let's see if we can get one that has a little bit more details. MR, FR1, oh, MR Friday, duh. Okay, so it looks like he sent me one of those photos that you can only view once, so let's see, see what it's like. Okay, we got a black MR2, and it looks like he has uh, some minor, like uh, body kit pieces and wheels. Uh, I really like this front lip, actually. I can't think what it's called. I'm guessing this is probably a replica because it's really hard to get a hold of. And I just can't remember what that lip is. I'll put it here if I can look it up. But uh, I like that. Good wheels too. Let's see what he says in the details. So Gen 2, 3 is GTE with Gen 3 oil pickup. Okay. So it looks like we're getting more of an engine, engine build here. Uh, CT27 turbo, HKS 264 cams. Uh, 800 cc injectors. Okay, we're getting really serious. 1ZZ coils, AFM delete, EMS intercooler. Oh, Link uh, G4 Extreme ECU. Okay. Uh, max solenoid boost controller, anti lag launch control. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Anti lag launch control is one of the most fun things you can do. My friend Hugh has it on his car, super badass. So, uh, extra points for that for sure. Um, Momo steering wheel, awesome. I have a Momo steering wheel as well, good choice. Uh, with a quick release, Tane super steer coilovers, suspension race alignment by me. Okay, so I don't know if that means you actually really did the alignment yourself or you just came up with the specs. Either way, props to you. Looks like maybe you track it and uh, you know, at least sounds like you're, you're trying to learn what you're doing, so awesome. Um, Amori boost gauge, okay, another thing that, that I have as well, cool. Sparco seats, that's solid. Volt GTC wheels, 17 inch, staggered, of course. If you have an SW20 and you don't have staggered wheels, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's just how it is. Uh, yeah, okay, and he says that we can check out his YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, go ahead and check out his channel if you want to see more of his car. Car looks sick. I think this is a great one to leave it on. Uh, I'm going to give that eight fire emojis, awesome build. And just so you know, I don't even know what a 10 would be. Maybe if like one of you sends me a McLaren F1 or something. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, let me know if you have a suggestion for a better scale, if I can kind of mix it up a little bit more. And uh, again, this is just my opinion. We definitely have some more. Uh, there were a few more than I thought I was actually gonna have here. I thought maybe like two people would respond to this. So. Thank you for your submissions. If you didn't see your car in this video, don't worry. It looks like we're going to be doing another video on this. If you want to send your car because you haven't even done that yet, send them over. I'd love to see it. Remember, you don't need to have a show quality car or like a full race build or whatever. Just if you're proud of your car, you know, send it over. Whatever you have, I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'd like to see some more diversity maybe, although, you know, I'm not going to complain about MR2s, but anyway. 
Thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment below. Uh, send over your cars. Let me know what you think about these cars. Hit up their Instagrams. Thank you all for submitting, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.